It's quicksand! Help me! 3PO! 3PO! <laughs> Good thinking, Snappy D2! Jerry Muskrat! <laughs> Topper! Dude, what are you doing on Ratooine? Oh. This isn't Ratooine! It's Thunder Bay! And you have disrupted my grain shipment! This is all grain? Whoa! The port of Thunder Bay is the eighth largest port in Canada. Shipments of grain, like this one from Topper, are stored in silos and loaded onto ships here at the top of Lake Superior. They make their way across the Great Lakes, all the way to the Atlantic Ocean and people around the world. It's Western Canada's gateway to the seaway. <laughs> you can say that a grain. <sighs> the Anishinaabe First Nations have lived in this part of Canada for thousands of years. But in the late 1600s, Europeans started creating colonies here, and people arrived to mine silver. This lakehead depot was named Port Arthur. When the Canadian Railway was built in the late 1800s, Port Arthur boomed because farmers from the west could send their grain here by rail. The grain on the train comes mainly from the plains. The grain on the train comes... The origins of the St. Lawrence Seaway can be traced back to the mid-1800s, when the first Welland Canal was opened. The modern St. Lawrence Seaway was completed in 1959, creating a navigable waterway that stretches 3,700 kilometers into the heart of the North American continent. In 1970, Port Arthur merged with Fort William to become Thunder Bay, the biggest city in northwestern Ontario and the official Canadian lakehead for the seaway. Massive ships can reach the grain at Thunder Bay all the way from the Atlantic Ocean, going up 180 meters in height through 16 of the most efficient locks in the world. The seaway is one of the 20th century's most amazing feats of engineering. Dude, I know! I rafted it! Well, did you know the Port of Thunder Bay ships about 8 million tons of grain per year? No. And that it has an economic value of $370 million each year? No. And that it creates 900 direct jobs? No. Wait, jobs, yes! I learned about longshoremen from my pal Steve Adore. That's my name, don't wear it out! Steve! Dude! I thought you were the Port of Oshawa! I got promoted! Now I work on behalf of ports around the Great Lakes. And not just the Canadian ports, the American ones too. Uh, cool. That's where I'm heading after Tea Bay, USA. Give me a call when you're there, Jerry. I've got connections, you know. You see, I show people how important ports are. Not just to our economy, but to our ecology too. We need to think about our carbon footprint. And shipping is more fuel efficient than trains. And almost eight times more than trucks. I learned that at the Port of Hamilton. Well, aren't you a smarty pants? I must be off back to Winnipeg, Jerry. I've got places to go, markets to sell to. So long, Jerry! Where to next, Snappy D2? Thunder Bay Art Gallery? The Sports Hall of Fame? <whistles> Thunder Bay Museum? <whistles> to find a gear for Captain Nemo? Right, I almost forgot. <whistles> you can say that a grain. Mm. Yeah, all right, I'll stop.